A simple guy from the province enters the Naval Academy in the United States, but faces new difficulties. A cadet instructor humiliates the newcomer, and he has to challenge him to face the offender in the boxing ring. Jake comes to his senses after a knockdown and sees that no one believes in his victory. People are disappointed in the boxer and bet against him, but the guy is not going to give up. Back in the fight, he knocks out his opponent and makes everybody happy who are present, especially he makes his father happy. The next morning, Jake goes to work at a shipyard owned by the guy's father. At some point, he is informed that a lieutenant commander from the Naval Academy is waiting for him. Jake dreams of enrolling there, since he promised it to his late mother. Showing perseverance, he applied 34 times but was rejected each time due to mediocre results. Lieutenant Barton was present at yesterday's fight and saw the potential, personally inviting the boy to the academy. In the evening, the best friend offers to organize a send-off and invites Jake to a local cafe. There he offers to get acquainted with a girl, informing her that he paid for their meeting. Jake decides to get acquainted with the beauty and finds himself in an awkward situation, as she is a regular customer and does not know his friend. Jake tries to remedy the situation and offers a walk, but the girl leaves as his friends distract him by picking a fight with the Marines. The next morning, Jake goes to the Naval Academy, dreaming of passing a difficult competition where 42 people are applying for one place. His father does not believe in the guy, but he wants to prove to himself that he is capable of more and will pass a series of obstacles and difficult tests. During the first class, Jake meets Allison and recognizes in the instructor the girl he saw the day before in a bar. Soon he and the other freshmen meet Matt Cole, the lieutenant midshipman in charge of their department. Having served several years in the Marine Corps, Matt turns out to be a cruel and evil instructor, testing the strength and endurance of the recruits. Using aggressive parenting techniques, Matt sends the freshmen on an obstacle course. Due to his excessive weight, Marcus fails the test and as a result becomes the weakest cadet. The seniors mock the fat man and promise to kick him out of the academy if the freshman fails to pass the test by the end of the year. Whittaker and the other instructors constantly bullied the new recruits to show their superiority. Despite failing in his studies, Jake shows himself to be a strong character fighter, not ready to give up his principles. During dinner, Matt asks Jake a tricky question, to which he gives the wrong answer. As punishment, he and his friends lose their dinner, leaving them hungry. At formation, Whittaker notices that Estrada doesn't stink like he used to, heeding his advice to shower twice a day. Lou knows the cat had lied since he wasn't in the shower room and decides to report it to Matt. Realizing that the roommate is a traitor, Estrada pounces on him with fists. During the sinking ship simulation test, Jake manages for two, but the commander is still dissatisfied with his actions, since not only he, but also his partner should be trained in rescue. At the gym, Jake decides to get even with Matt, who is always bullying him. The coach is against it, as they are not in the same weight class, but still allows the fight to take place. Jake is not ready for a fight with a stronger opponent and suffers a crushing defeat. Despite this, he punches the instructor in the head as he tries to leave the ring. Shortly before winter comes, Estrada is expelled from the Naval Academy for deceiving his superiors. Jake is shocked by what is happening, considering it an insignificant trifle. He has dreamed of serving at the Academy but he can't bear to see the constant bullying and injustice towards the newcomers. Saying goodbye to Marcus, Jake returns home and does not plan to continue studying at the academy. The guy spends time with his best friend in a bar, after which he meets his father and tells him about his plans. Because of the misunderstanding that arose between them, father and son quarrel, as Bill considers Jake a weakling, unable to be true to his decision. A little later in the bar, Jake meets Allison, a supportive boyfriend, inviting him to dance, 
the girl instructor asks him not to give up and return to the academy after the vacation, as she will miss him. A few days later, Jake returns to the academy, but does so a little late, causing him to be reprimanded. Matt invites him to talk to him in the room with the plaque honoring the heroes who gave their lives for the United States. The commander doesn't see Jake's potential and promises to do everything he can to get him out of the Naval Academy and not dishonor the Marine Corps uniform. At night, Matt conducts a formation, during which Jake must answer a number of military questions. Since the guy does not shine with mental abilities, the instructors make the others suffer by holding buckets of water in their hands. Lou is not going to tolerate being punished for another's mistakes and throws the bucket, then moves to another room. Marcus is not going to leave Jake, despite the fact that the guy has become an outcast and is considered a major wimp. During this time, they have become real friends. Besides, Marcus is satisfied with the fact that the title of the worst cadet has passed from him to Jake, to Kamincha Shud. Sometime later, Jake learns that there will be a boxing tournament at the academy in which everyone can participate. Dreaming of proving his strength, the guy sneaks into the gym at night to train extra. Here he is also found by a lieutenant who believes in Jake and sees potential in him. He offers to hold a small sparing session, during which he tests the guy's strength and recommends finding a trainer who can make him a champion of the ring. Dreaming of proving to himself and those around him that he is not so bad, Jake sits down at his textbooks and begins to study the military history of the United States. Marcus helps him and provides him with some audio CDs to keep his studies simple and keep him awake. Realizing that no one will help him, Jake turns to the only person he can trust. Allison is a strong and confident young woman who is used to accomplishing everything on her own. Despite the gender bias of her commanders, she agrees to train Jake and uses tennis balls to develop his agility and reactions. Soon, Lieutenant Barton joins the training, forcing Jake to move faster, avoiding blows even with his hands tied. At the same time, Jake decides to tackle Marcus' physical training and makes him complete an obstacle course time after time, improving his performance. In order to fight Matt, Jake must be in the same weight class as his opponent. Realizing this, the guy starts eating butter and other heavy foods. Marcus knows a lot about gaining mass and shares hidden sweets with his friend. Working on himself daily, Jake gains weight, becomes a better fighter, and a smarter foot soldier who can answer any question. A few days before the tournament, he shows up at the weigh-in and eats his last sandwich to gain the minimum allowed for boxing matches. At the qualifying match, Jake gets in the ring with Lou, the winner of a competition in his neighborhood. Lou is better prepared and provokes his opponent by dropping his hands. Jake seizes the moment and sends the athlete into a knockout with one accurate punch, advancing to the next stage. At night, during another intellectual interrogation, he answers tough questions from Matt and his assistant. The instructors allow the rest of the fighters to leave, but they, including Lou, stay with Jake to endure the punishment from beginning to end together. During another training session, the loving couple doesn't hide their feelings, but Allison and Jake are afraid to kiss since the guy is only a freshman and it could lead to a scandal. In the semifinals, Jake scores a landslide victory over instructor Whittaker, knocking him out in the first round. A couple days later, a group of cadets go to a shipyard to see the vessel they may have to serve on in the near future. Jake invites his father to the finals, but Bill refuses, justifying it with a heavy workload. On their return to the location, the cadets go through an obstacle course, the last one of the school year. Marcus tries his best and passes the test, but does it four seconds slower than he should. Realizing that he might be kicked out, the boy is very disappointed, as he doesn't want to let down his proud parents. In an attempt to get even with his life, Marcus jumps from a window but gets off with injuries and fractures. Blaming it on the evil Matt, Jake lashes out at the commander with his fists. He could be kicked out for public brawling, but the instructor asks for the case to be postponed so that the final boxing match can be held. Jake's friends and his father come to the deciding match. Lou and Allison, who have become his coaches, believe in the boy, 
but ask him to act wisely against a more prepared opponent. In the first round, Jake finds himself mentally unprepared and is knocked down. Continuing the fight, the guy tries to attack in the second round, but opens up and misses a punch to the head, once again going into knockdown. There seems to be no chance, but Jake calms down and starts thinking before he acts. In the decisive round, he methodically beats Matt down and sends him to a knockdown. Continuing to beat his opponent, Jake is about to win. But the final gong sounds early. The judges declare Matt the winner, but the crowd of spectators cheers Jake on. After the fight, the commission forgives Jake for his misconduct, as Matt personally recommended against punishing him. Jake thanks the commander and rejoices at the end of his freshman year. Since he is no longer a freshman, Allison kisses the guy and asks him out on a date to their bar.